Hello, and welcome to Script Builder. Script Builder can auto generate any script using a builder script. It is surprising how many scripts are created in a deterministic fashion. The first step is to download Script Builder from the Asset Store, and it will be located in the Assets folder alongside other AI Unity products. Inside the Script Builder folder, you will find a README with links to resources and the Script Builder manual PDF. You can also reference the website for additional resources alongside the manual. To control Script Builder, you will find the control panel under the Tools menu. And this will serve as your central control point for Script Builder. And we'll dock it here. The contents of your generated scripts are controlled by builders that are included or created by you. There's that forum category where you can share your builders if you choose. To grasp the versatility of Script Builder, I will be reviewing settings that all the builders have in common. So let's choose Example Builder to bring up some of these settings. Here the description tells you about what the builder's intended purpose is. So there is an attribute in accordance with the builder that will supply this text. And the builders all inherit from a common base class so that they are automatically discovered by the control panel. The context menu decides whether your builder can be found in the context menu or whether it's run directly here from the control panel. Context menu builders are for skeleton scripts and one-off scripts that you only want to create once and you want handy, much like the C Sharp create script that exists already in Unity, but you can customize by making many skeleton scripts of your choosing. The script name you leave is create new. If you're going to create a new one in a pop-up menu, it will let you enter the name of your script. If you choose an existing script here, then you'll be able to modify the settings so that you can regenerate it with the new values. The builder lets you choose the builder, whether it's included or a custom builder that you have created, which inherited from the common base class. The internal level allows you to change the levels of the script builder code itself should you need to debug something. The template determines how your auto-generated class members will be laid out. The default template is probably satisfactory for all cases. There is a region template that adds regions to your generated code. But here again, you are free to create additional templates should you have specific needs. The update mode is an essential element. If set to disabled, when you create the script, it will be created once and not maintained. However, if you choose overwrite or merge, Script Builder will maintain a link to your built script, which allows you to regenerate the script should the inputs to your builder change. This is useful in builders such as Animator Access Builder, which is going to reference the APIs of Unity and the controller may change, so regenerating the script would be a common event. But for instance, for one-off scripts like a starting script, disable would be the appropriate setting. Merge will allow you to merge the existing script with the new one that the builder creates. So if you were to modify the script manually, you can maintain those changes with Merge. A new automatic update feature now exists that will regenerate your script whenever the builder indicates the script is no longer current. For example, the Tag Access Builder reports an update available when a hash of the Unity tags has changed. There's a namespace and a base class. These provide the namespace of your generated script and the base class will allow you to provide a base class for your generated script. Both can be left blank. Thank you. To learn more, please visit AI Unity website. You can also explore the featured products below. Be sure to subscribe to stay current on all AI Unity products. Thank you and stay tuned to this product's playlist to complete your training.